the leader of the opposition, Clement Attlee. Mr. Speaker, it seems that I have not been clear enough. Then let me leave no doubt about my feelings regarding Mr. Chamberlain's future as Prime Minister. For the right honourable gentleman, Speaker! inactivity and incompetence, we find him personally responsible, personally responsible for leaving this nation ruinously unprepared to face the present Nazi peril. We are at war, Mr. Speaker at war, and leaving aside whether he is fit to be a leader in peacetime, he has proved himself incapable of leading us in wartime! I said order! Therefore, in the national interests, we, the opposition, are willing to enter into a grand coalition with the ruling Conservative Party, so-called order, but not, and I stress, never under the leadership of Mr. Chamberlain, who has lost the confidence of this house. In the country's interest, man, resign, step down, and let us find a new leader. Where's Winston? Ensuring his fingerprints are not on the murder weapon. <laughs>